Hey guys, uh, Mark Holmes. It is June 25th, and uh, just wanted to go over uh, a little bit on the follow-up. Um, been working with uh, uh, some of you this week with the follow-up, and I think it's just something that's important that uh, everybody should understand and, and try to uh, hone their skills on. Um, the first thing, I'm going to get right into it, uh, uh, the follow-up, the first thing we have to do in order to do the follow-up is be able to contact the, the person. So if you're out and about, you know, if it's somebody you don't know, you definitely want to try to get their email and their phone number if you can. Um, email is fine. You can send them the email, they get the information, but you're leaving it totally up to them if you don't know the person, to get back to you. So I would suggest, of course, getting the, uh, their phone number so you can follow up with them. Um, one question that we uh, should be asking um, is, what did you like best? Okay. Uh, this is, of course, we've done the, uh, we made the contact with the person. We've shared the information. We've shared the power strip. Um, the opportunity, the business opportunity. So the general question we need to ask is, what did you like best about what you heard? What did you like best about how the power strip, the, the power strips work for you? Um, from there, just let them talk. If you want to listen to them and just uh, what we're doing is we're we're finding out what's driving them, okay? And just ask them some questions. That's going to, you know, it's what we want to do is, is keep them talking, and we do that by asking certain questions. Um, <clears throat> now, the, the follow-up, too. A lot of times we, um, we leave this too loose, the whole system. It's too loose. But there's got to be that follow-up. Um, you, you, can't, you can't leave it up to them to call you back. Because I have to say 95, probably, uh, probably about 95% of the time, they're not going to call you back. And I, I'm sure a lot of you online here can agree with that. Um, but, you know, that's just what people do. They drag their feet. They procrastinate. That's expected. So just, you know, expect that. But there, there's got to be, and I hate the word because it relates to sales, there's got to be a close. There always has to be a close. Uh, a lot of times we'll keep getting back to people, asking them questions, asking them questions, but there's never a close. It's got to be um, uh, something like a, a good way to do a close, so to speak, either you or somebody on the three-way call should be asking a question, something like this. Do you have any other questions before we get you started? And you can kind of word that however you want, but that's got to happen, okay? Um, the, you know, as we say in the industry, the fortune is in, is in the follow-up. Um, that's, that's true. Um, if we don't follow up, um, and I just heard this recently, but uh, I found it kind of amusing. hope I don't offend anybody, but um, the follow-up, the initials are F-U. Um, <laughs> it, if we're not following up with people, that's what we're telling people. So that's going to happen. Um, you're following up with people. You're going to make them understand that, hey, you know, you're serious about this. You care about them understanding. And that's what it takes. Um, exposures. Four to six exposures. That's what it's going to take. Okay. Uh, people drag their feet. You know, that's cool. People have got uh, their screen door that's broken. and They've got to fix it. And it's taken them a week to do it. Um, you know, there's people that have been in the hospital or whatever. Um, there, there's stuff going on. So you've got to expect that. So 
uh, four to six exposures. It, it could be a video that you send them on uh, Dr. Becky talking about the strips. It could be uh, a great article today that came out, I'm sure a lot of you saw it, about the company's increase. You know, if somebody's interested in the business end, you definitely want to get that to them. Um, talking about tripling in volume this year compared to last year. So that's real exciting. But, you know, percentages, uh, and I hope everybody gets this, um, percentages. Um, there's a certain percentage of people that give up after a certain time. Okay. Um, as far as like getting one one no uh, from somebody, okay. Um, no doesn't necessarily mean no all the time. It just mainly means not now, as far as I'm concerned. But 44 percent of people in our industry they give up after one no. 22 percent of people give up after two no's. 14% of people give up after three no's, and 12% of people give up after four no's. So that's 60%. Uh, 60% of all customers say four, uh, say no four times before they say yes. So. It's those people that keep, they stay in the game, so to speak. You've got to stay in the game. You've got to keep going back to those people. And there's a certain uh, you know, point to where you've got to stop it. You can't you know, keep going back to these people 20, 30 times. So the one thing that stands out is you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. We hear that all the time. Um, but you've got you to gotta get through those no's. Get through those no's, but don't get caught up in the no's. Get caught up in the yeses. That's, uh, that came from uh, Dan Mays. He says the same thing on his video. Um, so, you know, also, if you're busy, you know, there's a lot of us that are really busy, and I've talked with you, some of you this week. Um, reach out to your upline. You know, we're before the call started, we were talking about. Uh, Craigslist. That's another thing we're going to go over here um, in another call. But you've got to keep making those contacts. You should be following up with people all week long. If that doesn't happen, you've got to really stop and think, think about what you're doing as far as your productivity with the time that you have. Um, you know, if you're busy and there's follow-ups that need to be made and you might have a tough time doing a three-way call. Uh, call me. Uh, call your upline, and um, they should be able to help. I've got plenty of time. I can help out with, with that also. So uh, don't be afraid to reach out to your upline and myself. But uh, also, don't don't forget to ask for referrals. You know. Um, when you're talking to people and you go through five no's. Well, you know what? That's okay. Who do you know that could use this, this product? Who do you know that's in pain? Uh, all I'm looking for is their honest testimony, their honest feedback. Uh, who do you know that uh, would fit this business model? Who, who do you know that uh, is in direct sales or is business minded? So, um, you know, that can go a long way. But through all this, what you've got to understand with the follow-up is it's got to happen. And if you're really lighting up the business, this is what I see from, uh, you know, some people that I, I work with. The follow-ups, they're happening so many times a day. Okay, and then the three-way calls are happening. So there's that close. So if you're really lighting up your business and you've got several uh, 
three-way calls going throughout the day, or even one or two, you're going to be increasing your, your volume. So um, I want to kind of keep this short because uh, we're going to go over a little bit of uh, stuff on Craigslist here also. But make sure you're following up. You know, it, it, go through your list. Go through your list and, and look at, I'm looking at a list right now, uh, pages and pages of people. And I've gotten back to these people. Um, sometimes they don't respond back. But I've gotten back to them sometimes uh, three, four times. And I, a lot of them on the list, I'm to the point where, okay, I'm going to cross you off my list here. Um, it's okay that you're not interested in the product or the business, whatever uh, you're talking to that person about. But who do you know? Um, and you got to have that, I guess, uh, I don't care attitude. You know, it's okay. Because there's an endless amount of people that we can get to, uh, like with Craigslist, and, and we're going to be going over a lot of different stuff as far as getting a certain amount of lines in the water. But that's all the front end stuff. The contacts, the develop, you know, uh, developing those lists, the contacts, the leads. Um, you should have a constant list in front of you each day. All that's got to happen first, and then the follow-ups come, of course, after. So that's the back end. So if you're doing a lot of follow-ups, a lot of three-way calls, you're you're really kicking it in the gear. And if you're not you got to get with your upline, get with me, um, and figure out why because it should be happening. And this can be done with as little time as, as 7 to 10 hours a week. And it gets down to good time management, using that time to you know, productive time. So you should be uh, at least 75% of the time should be reaching out, connecting with people, sharing the website, sharing the strips, uh, and then those follow-ups are going to come. So, uh, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I'm